Hey, 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 everyone, your host, Cy Smith, coming to you on a Monday, Green Monday, every Monday, a safety day. You guys know uh, I come from this space here sometimes, this little creek out here in um, unincorporated um, Cartersville, Bartow County, North Georgia. Um, I want to talk about just an update, where we at uh, as a people from uh, my vantage point every Monday is safety day so later I'll be posting the violence the shooting and killings around black America so first let me start by just saying uh, we're in the midst of unprecedented change and and it's coming it was past due uh, we saw it when Barack ran in 2006 um, 2007 time frame with the Arab uprising in the Middle East which um, was a little colonial in, in essence as well because you had the Muslims taking over black territory and talking about uprising. <laughs> but anyway, let me let's let me just talk about uh, what's happening now. Today is June 15th, 2020. This was the day that I had hoped we would have been able to raise five thousand um, dollars. And I wanted us to raise it a certain way. And people don't realize this. Uh, effective means getting things done and efficient is how well you get it done with the least amount of rework or ha working harder and not smarter so uh, when I talk about raising money it's really about how we raise money because there are people who raise a hundred thousand dollars two hundred thousand dollars but they can't pick up the phone and call someone in every black neighborhood in Chicago <laughs> well we had the bandwidth to do that we are working on the money part and the money part really just gets to the heart of why um, our community is still in the shape that it's in is because we have to work on trusting each other we have to work on um, wanting each other to succeed because unfortunately I believe sometimes our ego get in the way where we don't want someone to be successful because <laughs> we feel like it may make us feel less successful if we're older or it may make us feel like uh, we should have did it first and the key to that is if you trust in God you know everything happens in due season everything happens when it's supposed to happen uh, and and if you you know trust in that then you don't be fretting and getting upset when it appears someone else is winning so anyway the um, extraordinary part for me is the fact that we now, National Block Club University, but more importantly, the Village Concept, have three people working. Now, let me tell you why that's so important. Having three people working means that it's no longer a one-person driven operation. Uh, in the past, that's what we had to be because of all the administration and paperwork required to do this work. And I'm going to talk about uh, APAMS, which is information, <laughs> but I want to talk more about these riots and what's happening to us collectively first. Then I want to talk about barbershops too. We got some good news on that front. So help me remember that, you guys. It's a lot to cover here. So anyway, when we talk about the uprising and the riots, and it's a lot of pain out there. It's a lot of uh, confused spirits out there. People questioning uh, what they've been taught. And what I'm going to say with anything, and it goes to biblical, count it all joy. Like, learn, grow, spread love, keep moving forward. Uh, when you look at the inner cities, though, when the protest stops, whenever that ends, the riot stops, if you haven't worked on yourself, becoming a better version of you, then we can be protesting all day and pointing to the external factors affecting our community all day. We can definitely do that. But at the end of the day, what makes a community strong is a community full of strong people. What makes people strong is people who constantly work on themselves. And so we can't get away from that fact. If you don't know ninth grade math, you know, that, that could be a problem. And, and, and well, if you're <laughs> an adult. So the point is, work on your skills. Uh, Brother Jamont Montgomery said he's skilling up. Like, work on get, gaining new skills and building your network, making sure your habits are good. <laughs> uh, just do better as a person, spread love everywhere you go. So anyway, when I see all the protests, 
I understand they need to express themselves to keep from blowing the lid. So go ahead, express yourself. <clears throat> Hopefully you're doing it peacefully. But at the end of the day, what these three people that's working now is doing to make life better for you is they're creating um, two things that you see missing in all these protests. Uh, the first one is you don't see a repository being established. What is a repository? A repository is something that holds. It's something that things may be stored in. So what I mean by that is, as long as we see them marching, where is the storage for all the people who care about technology? All the people who care about business? All the people who care about entertainment? All the people who care about nursing? All the people who care about real estate and development? At the end of the day, for the black America, we have a lack of access, right? But we also have a deficit of the knowledge from our retirees in each of them fields down to the youth. There's a disconnect. The marching is not gonna work on that internal disconnect that we have to work on. So it's cool to point out the external people, you know, who has, you know, who's at fault with part of the conditions we're in, but we can't get away from looking in the mirror on what we have to do. And that's, again, why these three people working is important. Who are the three people? Or what are the three people doing, I should say? The three people, one is doing administration, all right? One is doing communication, and one is doing outreach. This is important big picture because almost anything you do, there's gonna be paperwork that follows. Anything you do is go entail communication. And most of what you're going to do involves some direct access and touching the customer or, or the clients and the people. So we call it AD, Administration Department, TD Department, Telephone Department, and then the Outreach Department, OD. So AD, TD, and OD is needed no matter what. Now that we have three people doing those things, what it's going to allow me to do <clears throat> is to go out there and establish citywide economic infrastructures. So that's my new role, is to establish citywide economic infrastructures. What that means is we need a way. Ronald McDonald, if you go to McDonald's and you see the little red boxes by the cash registers, that is a global economic infrastructure. You put money in that little box and that money is counted and it's put into a, a repository. And that repository is for Ronald McDonald charities. And it's done in all over the world <laughs> so what we are trying to establish in chicago right now then gary then atlanta in that order is when you go into uh, black owned businesses there's a space for you to deposit whatever is in your heart to deposit and it comes together uh, at the end of the month or whenever we decide but it comes together so that we can fulfill our version of ronald mcdonald charities which is helping the non-for-profits in our zip codes. So that's what I'm charged with doing uh, in the next 90 days in Chicago. So my deadline is August 21st, something like that. So anyway, what does that mean for you, for us, for the city, for this movement of, of all the marching? Keep in mind, our three people is, is building up the repositories. So that means when we go out there to any rally, any march, because the repositories are now covered with our three people, we can immediately start enacting the change that I think we all want to see anyway. What is the change? The change is habits, schedule, and network. HSN, habits, schedule, network. The habits is all over from uh, health habits to um, uh, uh, safety has, uh, habits to education habits to uh, family habits to youth habits you name it business habits so our habits have to uh, change or add to and in some cases subtract from <laughs> you know but habits is just how you behave and if you love the way you behave in all them areas then this isn't we're not talking about you but for most of us we know we can do some things better and different so habits is one thing schedule how you use your time matters for some people, because of money, lack of money, lack of circulation in black America without money, we're working harder 
uh, to acquire money to sustain. Well, as we get these three people fully working, more money is going to stay in our communities because we're going to stop feeding into this gap that's hurting us, giving our money to these people who don't care about our culture. Then the third thing uh, that I'm excited about is the network. So when you see all the people out marching, some are networking. Some are meeting other people that's going to add to their life. Well, because of the repositories being built, <laughs> ours is going to be intentional and deliberate and layered. And that's the difference. Intentional because if you tell me you love working with technology, because of the repository we have, we're going to make sure we get you over there so you can meet other people who love technology. Some retired who's no threat to you that can pour into you and help you. So that's the power of the three people working. Now, what I need people to do to speed this up is we have to get these, um, um, we, we call them the blue buckets. This is our version of the Ronald McDonald's red bins where they take money out through donations we have blue buckets so i need to have 35 um, business owners uh, sponsor these buckets sponsoring these buckets mean you're going to give us upfront money right now so that the bucket can sit there now we're going to have a person checking that which is our outreach person but we're going to have a person coming by checking it so the buckets won't just be sitting there with no Nobody ever coming by we're gonna have our outreach person come by but these buckets and sponsoring the bucket is gonna cost under $150 144 to be exact that's 12 people's $12 <laughs> so if we was to get 35 34 because Superstar Kenyatta did the 144 already if we was to get 34 other business owners to say hey I'm in. Here's my 144 now. What happens in black America with that extra $5,000? The three people I have, I just explained, that's working now. We would then have the money to go and get three more people, this time in Gary, Indiana, to go with the Chicago, Illinois. So now, what that translates to for you, the every everyday person, is now when you meet someone, in any field, technology, business, science, nursing, is six people now working to make sure that anyone in your family that want to become that is linked, is connected. Anyone you see on your block hanging out that want to do something, now they got six people ready to help them. And we want to increase that. We're in 20 cities. So we want to see three people working in all 20 cities. That's 60 people working with the same end result. Anyone who want to connect with any of the professions have a pipeline to do that through our system not only that <laughs> because of the way we have this thing set up report cards will start to be generated allowing you to express yourself in writing to the politicians that you pay to these corner stores gas station liquor stores who take money out of your community and this is going to allow them and us to if not shut them down Make sure that they're giving back. So this is going to have another impact across each city when the money isn't pouring out of our communities as fast. We slowed it up because of the report cards, because of the administration watching them, making sure that they know they can't just keep getting away with uh, economic murder. OK, so again, <laughs> this here is, I think, one of the best things going is this system that we have to turn our communities around. Beautiful, beautiful. Uh, we have a barber from Ireland. And he's, um, you know, we talk about race relations all the time. He wants to help. He think that the black community gets, um, is, is not represented the right way um, politically. And so we are military buddies. I trust him. Uh, been in you know a long interaction with him so I, I, I know his heart he wanted to help and so he's willing to give his equipment barber equipment to any barber who experienced uh, break-ins and vandalism due to this rioting 
So he wanted to give out equipment to a barber, help them that way. And he wanted to put $2,000 into barber school for anyone that wants to go to barber school. Anyone, male or female. This is huge. <laughs> and I told him, you don't have to do this. Of course, it's his money. He do what he choose. So I said today, every third Monday is our barber beautician day. I'm going to put the word out. I'm going to talk to our barbers and beauticians. And we go see. So I'm letting you guys know that. All right, we at the 15-minute mark, 16 minutes. So here's this is the way I want to close out. Um, we operate on a circulation model. Everything I talk about boils down to circulation of money. Everything boils down to circulation. But you don't circulate if you don't have confidence, desire, or, or even clarity on what you're circulating with and who. So I want to just be real explicit here. <laughs> what we do is connect people based on what you care about with other people who care about the same thing. And we ask everyone to help finance that in the tune of $12 a year. $1 a month. 48 quarters a year. <laughs> That's it. These businesses, if they do the under 150, that's essentially 12 people's $12. And that's how we're going to keep this system going and just turn America, the United States of America, around. Thanks for watching. Phone number is 77, nope, 312 405 8844. 312 405 8844. Thanks.